Right, here are the answers to mixed practice two, okay? Number one, five sevenths plus four sevenths makes nine sevenths. That gives you one mark out of two. Now, that's a top heavy fraction. You need to change that to a mixed number. So we have one, that's seven sevenths, eight, nine, and two sevenths left over. Now, part B, we have three eighths plus three eighths. So that makes six eighths. But again, that gives you one mark out of two. You need to reduce that to its lowest terms. Here we can divide the top and bottom by two to get three quarters. Part C, seven ninths minus one ninth gives us six ninths. Again, we can reduce that to lowest terms. That gives us one mark out of two. We can divide the top and bottom by three. It gives us two thirds. Now part D, 11 twelfths minus seven twelfths equals four twelfths. Here we can divide the top and bottom by four. Four into four goes once, four into 12 goes three times, one third. Right, question number two, we have to do some short multiplication. So part A, 43 times seven. So three sevens are 21, seven fours are 28, 29, 30, 301. Part B, 26 times three. Three sixes are 18, three twos are six, and one makes seven, 78. Part C, so we have 50, Three times five. Three fives are fifteen. Five fives are twenty-five. One makes twenty-six. Part D: two hundred and seventeen times nine. Two hundred and seventeen times nine. So seven nines are sixty-three. Nine ones are nine. That makes fifteen. And two nines are 18, and one makes 19, 1,953. Now, number three, we've got some adding decimals. So part A, we have 72.8 plus 5.3. Must line them up in the correct columns. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 5, 6, 7, 8. 7 plus nothing is 7. 781 is wrong decimal point lines up, it's 78.1. Now part B, 38.4 plus 5.16, 5.16, lined up in the correct columns, nothing plus six is six, four plus one makes five, decimal point must line up, eight and five makes 13, three plus one is four. 43.56. Now part C, 6.37 plus 78.4, all lined up in the correct columns. Seven plus nothing is seven. Four and three makes seven. Decimal point lines up. Six and eight make 14. And seven plus the one makes eight. Now part D, we must line them up in the correct columns. 37, that's the tens column, 30, that's the units column, seven, 3.7. The three is friends with this seven here. He's in the units column, 3.7. Now we've gone into the tenths column here. Nothing plus seven is seven. Decimal point lines up, makes 10. So we have 40.7. Now, question number four, we're subtracting decimals. The first thing to realize is you must do them the right way around. You can't swap the order around. We're starting with 7.5 and we're taking away 2.13. So 7.5 must go on top, minus 2.13, lined up in the correct columns. Now, nothing take away three, you can't do. So you have to go next door and steal one from the five to leave four, but what's there? There's nothing there. We must have a zero in that column. So we put the one here. Now we have 10 take away three is seven. Four take away one is three, decimal point, seven, six, five, 5.37. Now part B, 
65.8 take away 6.58. So we're subtracting. Nothing take away 8, we can't do. So put down that nothing there, 0. Now we steal 1 from the 8 to leave 7. 10 take away 8 is 2. 7 take away 5 is 2, the decimal point must line up. Now 5 take away 6, you can't do. So you go next door and you steal 1 from the 6 to leave 5. 15 take away 6 is 9. 59.22. Now part C, 9.7 must go on top. Take away 2.35, you can't change the order. So nothing take away 5, put that 0 there. Steal 1 from the 7 to leave 6. 10 take away 5 is 5. 6 take away 3 is 3. Decimal point lines up. 9, 8, 7. 7.35. Now the last one. We must do it the right way around. 18. Take away 5.3. 5, .3. 5 is in the units column with the 8. 5.3. Now, there's nothing here. Nothing take away 3. So we must put in the decimal point and a zero. Steal one from the eight to leave seven. 10 take away three is seven. That leaves two. 127 is wrong. The decimal point must line up 12.7. Right, question five, we're doing some short division. 76 divided by four. Fours into seven go once, that's four, five, six, seven. So it's remainder three. 4s into 36 go 9 times, 19. Part B, 98 divided by 7. 7s into 9 go once, 7, 8, 9, so it's remainder 2. And 7 into 28 goes 4 times, 14. Part C, 145 divided by 5. 5 into 14, 5, 2 is a 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, so it's remained of 4, and 5 into 45 go 9 times, 29. Part D, 126 divided by 9. 9 into 1 doesn't go. 9 into 12 goes once, so it's 9, 10, 11, 12, so it's remained of 3. 9 into 36 go 4 times, so again it's 14. Question number six, we're multiplying and dividing by 10, etc. So, part A, multiplying by 10 moves all the numbers up one column, so it's going to be 53.8. Part B, multiplying by 100 shifts all the numbers two columns up. So the nine goes up to 90 and then 900, 970. Part C, dividing by 10 makes it smaller all the numbers are going to shift down one column. So it goes down to 4.6. Part D, dividing by 100, all the numbers are going to shift down two columns. So the 10 becomes a 1, then a 0 0.1, so it's 0 0.126. All right, question number seven, we had a rectangle and we had to first of all work out the area. So we write this, area equals, it's 7 metres times 4 metres. Now you get one mark if you wrote all of that out properly. That comes to 7 fours are 28. Metres times metres makes metres squared. Remember we're working out an area. That's that space inside the rectangle. It's divided up into squares like this. How many squares would there be? 7 times 4 would be 28. I think I've only done 6 across there, but you get the idea. Now part 2 is the perimeter. The perimeter is the length around the edge. We're adding these lengths up. So it's 7 that way, up there, 4, across this way. If you had to run around the pitch, you would run around the perimeter. So let's just say P for perimeter equals 7 metres plus four meters going up there, plus seven meters across there, 
plus another four meters down the home straight back to the finish there. So what do we have? We have 11 and another 11 makes 22 meters. This time it's just a length, just in meters, not meters squared. Right, add up your score and see how you've got on.